a little watermelon jalapeno gazpacho. Yum. How does that sound? It's like, oh yes, I'm so ready. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so your handy dandy blender. This is one of my dump and blend recipes. Like I said, it's a fail-proof mix, and I went to great lengths to make sure that every recipe had every step written out. You, there's no way you can mess these up, no matter what your comfort level in the kitchen. So starting off, we're gonna do a bunch of diced plum tomatoes. These are these are really ripe. It's a great way to get rid of you know tomatoes that might be going past their prime. Okay. So some so that's the. But you're gonna put tomato juice in too. I am gonna add a bit of tomato juice. How too. much? Uh, you can add about a quarter cup of that, please. Okay. Thank you. And you know, you can always add more liquid if you want. We've okay. got some beautiful seedless cucumber here. All a nice right. bit this of crunch and fiber. Liquid, what is this That's liquid? That's red wine vinegar. <gasps> okay, mm -hmm. How much of this? Uh, I would do about um, two tablespoons. So go ahead. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, you can do a little bit more than that. That's oh, okay. All right. And I like quite a bit of cucumber because I kind of like a chunky gazpacho. Oh, no, you're not going to make it. It'll smooth. Totally puree. We we're going to puree it, but not too much. Okay. We've got a, a sweet onion here. And this is your secret ingredient this that makes it sweet. Watermelon. I know. And this is a great way to get kids to enjoy their vegetables too, is adding a little bit of sweetness to it, right? So that they so have fun with it. good. Okay, look at how beautiful that looks in here. We need fresh lime juice, two limes. Okay. So an, a great trick is to roll the lime out on the cutting board first to loosen up any juice inside. Uh, or you can just use a lime juicer. Or you can just be strong, <laughs> strong like bull <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and just squeeze or use it a out. Fork. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put in garlic. Yep, one clove of garlic. You have minced there. Zesty. Beautiful. I love it so. And and some jalapeno, my yes, favorite. Yes, minced jalapeno. Nice if you want it and less spicy, if you want it more spicy, add the ribs and seeds. Less spicy, no ribs, no seeds. Fresh mint and fresh parsley. And if I were making this without you, I would add fresh cilantro. I know, but I hate cilantro, so it doesn't get to be in my in my mix. This is a bit of Worcestershire sauce, just to add a little bit of flavor. A little dash of some Tabasco. Yum, yum. And I'm gonna do this with. Ah, there ah. we go. Get it in there, turn it on. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, here's the cool trick that I do to make sure that I'm serving up a really luscious, indulgent, healthy meal. Okay. Is once I get the top off, which is always <laughs> a little harder than it looks and you serve it into your beautiful bowls here. Here is a, as a Mario Batali specialty that I have adopted that I just love. So first I top it with a little bit of beautiful feta cheese. Oh yum. And then here is the clincher. Excuse me one second. Yeah. Oh, a olive oil drizzle. A little drizzle of olive oil right <gasps> on top. Such a cheater, I love that.